All right, folks, Pitching Ace Idiot, and we are back on Criminal Case on Facebook. Uh, I apologize for the delay. Well, let's head on. Super excited about going to Dubai. Bureau Headquarters, Dubai. Hey, Ace, now that we're in Dubai, your plan to set a trap for the sword can be executed. Time is of the essence. Well, I hope it works. Our investigation in Egypt helped us get close to the sword, but it wasn't enough. They must be stopped before they strike again. Well, it's not just about avenging Chief Ripley's murder anymore. With the discovery that the sword belongs to Sombra, a worldwide terrorist organization aimed at global domination, there's no room for anything other than absolute success. Well, thanks to Ace, we found Sombra's weapons dealer, a man named Seamus Cummings. We're gonna use him to get the sword. Hey Ace, your mission is to purchase a large quantity of weapons for Mr. Cummings in order to attract the attention of the sword. You and Archer will go undercover, posing as rebel leaders seeking weapons for an uprising. You're to meet him at Dubai's famous rooftop golf course. Should anything happen while you're undercover, your safe word is Eskimo. Well, Ace, our meeting time is approaching. We've got to get into our rebel leader disguises to meet our target. It's time we end the sword's game for good. All right, so never say Eskimo. All right, we're all suited up. Well, you look great, Ace. Seamus will never suspect a thing. Let's go see a man about some weapons. To the rooftop golf course we go. <laughs> it's so obvious. I mean, here, I, I got my little facial hair ready for this. But, uh... The parting shot. Two more cases, man. Exciting. Two more cases, and next week we are going to be officially launching... Uh, PitchingAce88.com, which is going to be a site, all things criminal case, and all things Pitching Ace 88 in his channel. So we're going to start with, you know, basically all criminal case stuff, but uh, we're going to start branching out to featuring some of my other guides and stuff, and uh, looking for some interaction. I think it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Uh, all you guys that are admins of, of certain sites, you guys can always link to there to get to certain cases. It's going to have a much better layout than YouTube currently has, which is going to be pretty cool. So, Pond. Oh, look like I got beat to death. Oh, that's not good. Lighter. Golf bag. That's obviously going to be a clue. There's probably some clubs in there. Uh, ripped paper. I don't know. Sunglasses. Sunglasses and ripped paper right here. Oh yeah, beat Ingrid. What, what? What, what? Ah, that sucks. Almost got an extra star. Oh no, Ace, that's our target, Seamus Cummings. But he's dead. What's the save for it again? Eskimo. Yeah, you're right, Ace. With Seamus dead, we can't follow through on our plan to trap the sword. Best thing now is find out who killed him and see if he can lead us back to the sword somehow. Let's see if anything around here can help. Ace, the golf bag you picked up is a good start. There's gotta be something in there we can use. And you also wanna to put together the, that ripped up matchbook? All right, let's do it. And Ace, there's still hope of catching the sword, but first, let's take off these disguises. It's hot in here. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So I'm gonna go grab some stars, guys, after we uh, examine the body for a little bit, and I will be back to see you guys in a bit. It's been Pitching Ace 88, au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we're back. Let's finish this off. I grabbed a heck of a lot of stars, and we want to start all this stuff up again. Uh-oh, got a bar meeting. Let's see, that goes up here. Oh, underwater bar, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Ace, there's a message on the matchbook you found next to the victim. 7.30 bar meeting. Looks like our victim's next meeting was supposed to be at Dubai's famous underwater bar. You're right, Ace. We need to go to the underwater bar and find out who is next on the victim's agenda. Dude, if this is a real place, I would love to go here. That'd be awesome. It'd be sick. Definitely be down to do that. Ooh, lots of golf stuff. Let's see. Ooh, he's a caddy. Seamus golf bag was pretty fancy with all those gold-plated clubs. Inside the bag, you found a name tag that belongs to a certain Khalid al-Zarani. The name tag says he's a caddy for the resort. Good idea, Ace. Let's question Khalid the ca caddy. I bet the resort reception desk can tell us where to find him. 
I need. What's up, fool? What's going on? Khalid al -Zar Zarani? We're here investigating the murder of Seamus Cummings. We know you were his caddy. Senior Trooper Ace found your name tag in his golf bag. You must know I'm innocent. I went to meet Mr. Cummings, but when I arrived, he was already dead. Oh, so you found the body and just left? You know that that looks suspicious from where I'm standing. Well, if the police had seen me there, they would have arrested me instantly. No questions asked. It's a shame he's dead. Mr. Cummings always hired me as his caddy whenever he was in town. He was quiet, but always a generous tipper. Well, such as those sentiments are, you're officially a suspect in the murder of Seamus Cummings. We need, may need to ask you more questions, so you should stick around this time. <sighs> yep, so you can got, see I got a bunch of stars. So this one, to get that extra star just right off the bat, to unlock that, actually gonna go for this, because I should know where basically everything is except for the clue that's waiting here for us, which is this right here, and the tiger. Dude, that's nuts. Anyway, so starfish, eel, shopping bag. Oh, that's enough. Dang, that's a lot of clues. And wallet. There we go. There's our extra star. Oh, yeah. We got a whole nother place to look at. Hey, Ace, don't move. There's a tiger staring at us. Hiss. Well, you, you want to do what, Ace? You want to grab those gold bars from his mouth? Are you out of your mind? It could eat us. Well, I can't believe you're doing this, Ace. I've got your back, but just in case, it was nice knowing you. I can't watch this. Oh, Ace, are you all right? That was one scary tiger. Good thing I had some leftover kebab to distract him. Well, now that we're both safe, let's dust off that gold bar the tiger had in its mouth. It looks like there's something engraved on it. And after risking your life, you want to search through a shopping bag? Well, yes, it's your call. Let's see what you find inside. And what about that ski lift ticket you found? How the heck does a lift ticket end up here in Dubai? Why is it covered in blood? Good idea, Ace. Let's get a sample of that blood to Lars so we can find out whose it is. And yep, the victim's matchbook said he had a meeting at 7.30 and that time is approaching. Let's hope one of those clues can help us find out who he was supposed to meet. Does that mean Dubai also has like a uh, ski resort? That'd be pretty cool. Dubai sounds like a pretty fun place. Well, hey, so the gold bar you found belongs to a certain Sultan Muhammad. Any idea who he is? You met the Sultan in a previous investigation? Oh, he's a tyrannical elite ruler of a desert town? What's he doing here in Dubai? Oh, you're saying he was trying to stop his people from protesting in the streets? Then he could have been here to buy weapons. Exactly, Ace. The Sultan must be our victim's 7.30 appointment. Brilliant idea, Ace. We should go undercover for a meeting with the Sultan. But this time, we'll go disguise as our victim and see exactly what they had planned. Ooh, that'd be... I like it. I like it. Being sneaky sneaky. Man, lots of stars in this first one, man. Nuts. Hey, so there's a lot of stuff in that shopping bag, including this gift box. But how many purses does a woman need? I'll never understand. There's a message from our victim written on the lid of the box. It reads, To Fiona with love, Seamus. I wonder who this Fiona person is. Let's open the box and see. Oh, well, this earring and necklace set looks pricey. And there's another card inside. It says, To another 20 years, your loving husband. Oh, well, that solves the mystery. This Fiona must be Fiona Cummings. She must be our victim's wife. I wonder if she knows he's dead. Ace, we should go find her and break the bad news. He did well. It's 
pretty. Alright, so this is for one adult. Let's see what this blood is. Okay, not my best, but still got it. Hey, it's not that you guys sample that blood on the ski lift ticket. Let's see if Lars can tell us who it belongs to. Yes, sir. It's definitely something we can do. Three hours. Definitely possible. Hey Ace, it's 7.30. Operation Sultan Sting is in effect and these disguises are flawless. Sultan's reaction should be interesting. If he killed Seamus, he'll be surprised to see him alive and well. Ready Ace, let's do this. Sultan Muhammad, I'm Seamus Cummings. I got the goods. Do you have the gold? Oh, Mr. Cummings, I didn't expect to see you. I heard you were dead. Well, I'm here, so let's get started. I've brought your gold, but our deal is clear. I purchase these weapons from you and you will stop selling to my enemies, the sword included, or else I will kill you. Do we have an understanding? And I've thrown in some extra gold to make sure we have an understanding on our other matter as well. Oh, the other matter. Um, yeah, the other matter. We won't say a word. Well, that went well, huh, Ace? The soul had no idea who we really were and he seemed very surprised to see Seamus. But I wonder what that other matter he mentioned. Hopefully we'll find out soon enough. That's curious, curiouser and curiouser. All right, what's up, Fiona? Oh, I can't believe Seamus is dead, and on our 20th wedding anniversary, too. He'd always mentioned how amazing Dubai was, so he was surprised me with this trip as a gift. So you and Seamus were on an anniversary trip? Oh, after our son died three years ago, Seamus retired from the weapons business. We promised we'd spend more time together, travel the world. Oh, what am I gonna do? Seamus is all I had left. Oh, well, we know this must be difficult for you, but do you have any idea who might have wanted your husband dead? Well, in his line of work, that could have been anyone, but that was all over. Although, you might want to check for his money. He always traveled with pocket cash in case he needed to get out of a sticky situation. Yeah, Ace, the money Fiona mentioned wasn't with the victim when we found him. That means someone got to the money before we got to the body. We need to find that money. Good chance whoever stole it could be our killer. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's been Pitching Games 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, we are back. Able to put uh, the little man to sleep, so I was able to come up and record a little bit. Hey, it's just nice to see you. Have you checked out the sites yet? Did you know the Bir Khalifa is the tallest building in the world? Dubai also houses the world's largest indoor ski slope, which you probably already know, being that you lifted the blood sample from, from one of their lift tickets. A ski slope in the middle of the desert? Wow, only in Dubai. Thanks for the tips. Were you able to find out whose blood it is on the ticket? Well, I did. I extracted a DNA sample from the blood and ran against the victim, and I got a match. The blood is your victim's. Huh, but that ticket didn't end up in the bar covered in our victim's blood by, all by itself. Someone must have lost it there. The killer. And if the victim's blood is on the ski lift ticket, that can only mean one thing. Our killer likes to ski. Hey, so we're hunting down one hot-blooded, cold-loving killer. Hey Ace, how are you finding Dubai so far? It's a fascinating country. Can't wait to go out and take some photos. I saw a man riding a lion this morning. Well, before your photo tour, can you tell us anything about the victim? Absolutely, the killer shot your victim point blank in the chest with a 45 caliber pistol. Most likely a semi-automatic. Seamus' gun holster was empty, which could mean he was shot with his own gun. He was shot with his own gun? Talk about irony. Interestingly, your victim received a second degree burn on his face while still alive. I studied the blisters and can tell you it was caused by a hot cup of coffee. My guess is the killer first tossed the coffee in the victim's face as a distraction before they fired the shot that killed him. Wow, in any case, that means our killer drinks coffee. Ace, the only more than caffeine to stay ahead of you. Dude, that's rough, man. Hey, some parched. Being around these massive buildings, you forget you're in the desert. Hey Ace, I'm glad you're back. I need a full report of what you've uncovered so far. Well, y yes, we can confirm that our victim was in fact tied with the sword. Our gold-toting Sultan was adamant about making sure the sword never got their hands on any of Seamus' weapons. And we also know that Seamus and his wife Fiona lost a son a few years back. She thinks her husband was no longer in the weapons business. Guess he dealt secrets as well as weapons. And Khalid, the 
Caddy cried innocent, but his story of finding the victim dead and just leaving doesn't sit right with me. Plus, you can't trust anyone who's that good looking. I mean, besides me, of course. Brother. Well, this is all fine, but what I really want to know is, do you think the sword or somber has anything to do with your victim's murder? I think that... Hey, hey, so I hope I'm not interrupting. I just thought you might want to know. I found the victim's stolen money. Thanks, Elliot. We'll find that, I guess, out in Chapter 2. It's been Pitching 88. Over and out.